What's up YouTube? Welcome to this tutorial on how to make a leaf shader in Blender. Now this tutorial and the material discussed in it is actually recommended by somebody who commented on my Dell monitor video who wanted to know how to do transparent textures um, or transparent shaders or parts of the shader by using an alpha mask. So that is uh, the main reason that kind of inspired this tutorial. Um, but I couldn't just do a tutorial on that, it'd be two minutes and not even worth editing. So I wanted to make it into a full tutorial, which is how to make a leaf shader, which I've wanted to do for a while. So um, let's get started. So first thing, like any Blender project, open up Blender. And I'm not really going to discuss this that much, um, what I'm doing here, because I'm just setting a default, uh, default scene with a light. I just scaled this plane up to two this plane up a random amount and I'm adding material to it called light and changing this to an emission shader. Sorry if my voice is moving around, I'm adjusting my chair a little bit. Um, so now if we look at the rendered preview, we can see we just have a fault scene. So make sure, you're whoops, make sure your plane selected and I'm gonna drag up the node editor and, or I'm gonna drag up the timeline and change that to the node editor. Now, normally I would work on two monitors, but I'm recording a tutorial and that's really hard for you to see, so I'm doing a split screen. However, you can do, you don't have to do the timeline, you can do it however you want. Um, as always, it's just preference. So, now I'm going to add a new material to the plane and title this Leaf. So, let's just add a leaf texture. All textures and files will be in the download you can go to the description and you can load it up and follow along if you want to with these exact textures so if you look at this you just get a black plane if you plug the image texture directly into the diffuse node um, that is because it is an image texture and it doesn't know how to map it to the plane so we're gonna add a texture coordinate node and now if you have a full plane uh, or not sorry not full plane if you have a full tree uh, or plant or bush or however you're using this or any model for that matter it'll probably be UV mapped so you you want to use the UV map output but because this is just a default primitive plane I'm going to use generated and now we get the leaf but first off uh, obvious problem the leaf is there but we also have this black square around it and we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to use an alpha mask and what that is going to be is it's going to be white where we want it to be opaque or solid and black where we want it to be transparent. So I'm going to open up Photoshop. Um, you're welcome to use GIMP or even MS Paint if you wanted to. Um, anything that will allow you to color things. So I'm going to drag the leaf texture in. Now you could just use an alpha channel for this if you had one in the image. But I'm not going to do that because the person specifically asked me to how to do the alpha mask instead of just the, using the alpha channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer, layer new layer, um, and then by using the bottom layer, I'm going to use the magic wand and select all black. And then on the top layer, I'm going to simply just make everything black. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift I to invert and make everything on the inside white. And then I'm going to save that as leaf, whoops, leaf alpha. And I'm going to save that as a PNG. Although you can save it as whatever because there's no really transparency in it, in the actual image itself. But now we're going to go over Blender and I'm going to duplicate that texture node and plug in generated to it again. And I'm going to load up the leaf alpha. Now in order to blend between transparent and solid we're going to add in a mix shader and a transparent shader. Now this will allow you to blend between completely solid and transparent by using the slider. However I am going to 
use the alpha mask and plug that into the factor value and then I'll mix between it based on the value. Now, you can do, uh, I mean you can see what just happened. It made the leaf transparent and the outside is opaque. Now you can fix this two ways. You can either in, add an invert node um, and it'll do that or you can not add an invert node, which I'm not going to because of organization purposes and we're going to be adding a lot of nodes in, so I want to prepare for that. And you can flip these two nodes in the slot and that'll basically do the same thing. So now we have a solid leaf and everything else is transparent, but you can stop there if you want to, but we are not done. I'm going to go through the full leaf shader. So, first thing, we're going to add a little bit of glossiness, because even if the leaf isn't wet, you can kind of tilt it to the side and you're going to be able to see some glossiness. So, add in another mix shader, and add in a glossy shader, and connect those two together, and then we're going to add in a Fresnel. Now, for those of you who don't know what Fresnel is, if I were to plug this into the diffuse value, you can see that if I look at it straight on, it gets really white. Actually, I'm going to mix totally diffuse. It gets really black. And then the more I go like this, the whiter it gets. That's just a texture value. Um, so I can use this in the factor to mix between things. So I'm going to plug the whoops, I'm going to plug the color back into the diffuse color. I'm going to use the Fresnel as the factor. And what you're going to see is, we're well, not going to see it right now because there's no light. So we're going to Rotate this 90 degrees, whoops, rotate Y 90, grab Z, grab X, and then there we go. We have another light. Now as you can see, when we use that as the factor, the lower you go, the more reflective it gets. However, like this, it's not reflective at all, How? because um, without it, it would be looking like this, full on glossy. So we don't want that set that back to 0.5. So this tool is more of a realistic thing. If you want to know more about what Fresnel does, you can look at glass. I don't know. Let's see if we can find something by going like this. No, that's not good. Um, glass vase. Um, uh, trying to find a good image. Here we go. If you look at the glass, it's more transparent during the uh, in the center. However, the further out and the more away the glass curves, you see it gets more and more of the reflection properties. So that's what the Fresnel does, and it's pretty much in everything. Uh, you can pick up the item sitting to your left, whether it be a water bottle like it is me, or a crayon or something. Anything that has a little bit of glossiness to it, and you'll see the Fresnel effect. Heck, your smartphone. If you tilt it away from you, you'll be able to see reflections better than if you're looking straight at it. Um, so yeah. But now if you look at our leaf, it's very flat. So we're going to fix that by going to just typing B W into search. And we're, you can make a detailed normal slash bump map if you want, but you don't have to. I'm just going to use the image texture. Just give us a little bit of variance there. But it doesn't look that good because it looks really wet and we I don't really want it wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add curves and modify the slope of that Fresnel value by using these curves, color curves. And I'm just going to crush this. Uh, so we just get that little bit of rim gloss around it. Just like that. And now we have that but the leaf is very desaturated so let's add a little bit of saturation into that this is just the texture you won't have to do this depending on which image texture you use uh, but I'm gonna set the saturation to 2 and if you want you could always do something like change the color if you want it to be spring or fall uh, but for 2 that's a good color that I like and it looks good but you see a little bit of this gray outline around the outside. That's because 
we kind of have a feathered alpha mask. So I'm going to duplicate this curve and add it in here. Um, and it should just get rid of using the same curve settings, but you may need to modify the curve. Uh, all it's really doing is making it stay darker for a little longer and then it shoots up to the value of one, which is white. But that seemed to have fixed it almost completely. Wow, that's really glossy now that I look at the bottom. Let's see. Let's see, can we crush this a little more? Oh, whoops. I did not want to do that. I'm just messing with the values. I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, drop this value a little bit. And that should drop the full-on glossiness. Actually, I'm going to drop that a lot. Yeah, that looks about good for our purposes. Um, now we're almost done. One last thing that a lot of people won't add is a translucency node. You really gotta have this because if you don't, then the leaf will just be solid and no leaf is solid. So I'm gonna make a little more room, drag these up, at, excuse me, add one last mix node. And a translucent shader and plug that in. Now in order to see this I'm going to delete this light and I'm going to go over to the world settings and make this gray or sorry not gray totally black and now you can see that it's kind of white we don't want that use the color of your hue and shader value or the color texture plug that in and now we got sort of a translucent leaf Change this value however you want as it'll change the translucency um, depending on how you want your scene to look. But I'm going to duplicate these a little bit so you can see really just how important this effect is. If you look at it in rendered, uh, in a tree you're going to notice this a lot because there's lots of clusters of leaves. So you'll be able to see that it gets lighter towards the back then it gets darker as light is absorbed through each individual leaf until it gets to the end which will be dark so this really gives that nice dark in the center light on the outside type look to your tree and it's very important that this last effect is in but that is it for this tutorial um the music used is nice chill step by sgh who is allowing me to use his music, similar to Sound Fusion and a few other people. If you want to download it, the link will be in the description, as will be the links to download these source files. Um, I haven't been making a lot of tutorials lately. Uh, haven't really been having a lot of topics to do it on, so if you need a to tutorial topic, or sorry, if you need a tutorial covered, um, feel free to post that in the description, or. I cannot speak in the comments below and I will be sure to get to those. See you in a few weeks. I'll hopefully be getting another tutorial up, um, if not a few more speed models because I've been meaning to do more. And that is it. So like I said before, links will be in the description and see you next time.